In this video, I'll show you how to create a stunning opening slide animation that reveals the number of chapters in your presentation by using the powerful morph transition. Let's get started. We'll change the background of the slide. Right click and select format background. This opens a pan on right side. Select solid fill and choose your fill color. I'm taking this color. Now insert a rectangle. Cover the slide up to this point. Change its fill color with no shape outline. Now again insert a rounded corner rectangle and place it here with no shape outline. Make its 4 copies by holding down Ctrl plus Shift and dragging with mouse. Now select all these 4 rectangles and align them equidistant. Use distribute vertically. Now duplicate this slide 3 times by using Ctrl plus D which depends on the number of chapters. Go to first slide and delete these rectangles which are not required. Quickly do the same for other slides. Now go to first slide and select both the rectangles and make them union from shape format tab. Quickly do the same for other slides. Now let's add content to the slides. First we'll do the numbering of shape. For that I'm inserting a text box. Take Aptos black font type and 88 as font size. Text color same as that of slide background color. Give it number 1. Place it on the center of this rectangle. Now let's make the text engraved into the shape. For that select the text box and right click. Select format tab. Go to text options. Select the middle one for text effects. Choose inner left shadow effect and increase the distance to 6 points. Now copy the same text and place it in the top of slide. Increase the text size to 96. Now I am directly pasting the dummy content of the chapter 1 just for reference. Based on the title, it would be visually good to add some icons from the insert tab. Search according to, to your content title. Place these icons at the bottom of our content. Adjust their size. Change color from graphic format tab. Now select all the shapes and text and press Ctrl plus G to group them together so that these can be moved as a wall. Now in the same way, let's add content to other slides with some beautiful icons. But before that, let's change the color of the shape. Choose this color so that a gradient of color appears in our final presentation. Now the color is set. Now I'm directly pasting the content to save some time. All the content is of same size and font type as the previous one. Select all these shapes and text and group them together by Ctrl plus G so that these can be moved together as a whole. This way the second slide is also done. Let's repeat these steps for third slide. First change the slide color to maintain the gradient. Then add the content with some icons and make them group together by Ctrl plus G. 
I'm repeating the same steps for the fourth slide. Change the slide color. Then add the content and after selecting all the text and shapes, press Ctrl plus G. Now one by one, let's add these second, third and fourth slides into the first one and adjust their positions. Now to give depth to shapes and our content, select all the shapes and right click. Select format object. In the format graphic pane on the right side of the slide, choose effects option. Then choose outer shadow effect. And change the distance to 6 points. Now select all the shapes and place them to the left. Press shift button while dragging them smoothly. Check in the side thumbnail for better adjustment and for preview of final position. Now add the introduction title to the right side of slides. Delete all the other slides as these are not required. Now duplicate the first slide by Ctrl plus T and place the introduction title outside the slide area and reduce the text size. Now drag the first shape to the right while pressing shift button. Now go to transition tab and apply morph transition. Let's check the preview. This way the smooth transition occurs. We can even adjust the duration of the transition from here. Let's again check the preview. Now again duplicate the second slide and drag the second number shape to the right while holding down the shift button. Repeat the same steps again. Now let's check the slideshow of the complete presentation. This way we can create a stunning opening slide animation that reveals the number of chapters in your presentation. I hope you liked the video. Please subscribe the channel if the video was helpful to you.